Hey everybody, Kelly Engineer here and welcome to episode 45 of Journey Across the Void. Uh, in between episodes I didn't really do much of anything, I was mainly focused on making sure that the Ender Utilities Mod Spotlight was complete. I still have one episode I need to upload of that, but uh, yeah, we're not going to do that just yet because I want to go over some things for Journey Across the Void. Um, I am in a hotel room right now, a hotel room in Georgia. Uh, it has the worst internet I think I've ever used. So these episodes are going to be, the, the episodes for the next five weeks are going to be rather short. And they're also going to be, um, they're not going to be as often as they usually are. I'll try to get one out daily, but if that's not possible, I hope that you understand. The reason for that being is uh, the promotion I discussed a couple of weeks ago. Um, those results are going to be coming out this week, uh, Wednesday actually. And if I make it, then my time is going to be completely consumed uh, going through the initiation process for that promotion. So, yeah, that's one problem. Number two is I want these episodes to be shorter because with a 5 megabit download speed and a 3 megabit upload speed shared across four hotel rooms, um, if my episodes were my normal 15 to 20 minute length or my 25 minute length, whatever, um... It would take forever to upload those episodes, especially on this internet, so I want to limit the amount of time that uh, I have to spend with the upload. So those are the reasons that the, uh, that's what's going on with the channel right now, but going back to Journey Across the Void, in between episodes I didn't really do anything. I spent a lot of time transferring mana over manually from my filing cabinet over here, and if we go over to my little ME system over here, you see that I have quite a bit of mana quartz. I just pumped in an entire like inventory full of quartz. I uh, did the mana powder, so I have dragonstone, I have pixie dust, I have elementum ingots. I have a whole bunch of good stuff. I didn't really do anything with terra steel, although I probably should have. But terra steel takes it takes a very long time, so I didn't focus on the terra steel using the agglomeration plate. I was more focused on going over this mana pool stuff. I also know that I said at the end of the last episode that I was going to spend the first half of this episode working on the Tanya stuff, but since I don't have time, instead what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on Void Miners. I've already cleared out the Void Miners that were in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade all of these to Tier 4, and we are going to make 16 or Resource Miners, and we are going to make 16 resource, uh, like just standard Resource Miners. And if I have the time for it, I'm also going to make some botanic miners that are going here in the center. Unfortunately, the reason why I put the void miners up here is because one floor below I have a, or I guess two rooms below, I have the trophy room. And with the trophy room, what I was going to do is the columns of light were going to be covered up by actual columns. And the trophy room was going to look... Oh, pardon me, had a cough. Uh, and the trophy room was going to uh, have these columns, it was going to look all nice, and then I was going to have stands with everything that I've made. Uh, armor stands, I have one of the trophies over here. When I complete the pack, the four trophies that go, that I'm going to get right here, I was going to put these four trophies on pedestals, it was all going to look nice. If I have the botanic miners in, here in the center, then it's going to ruin that column aesthetic, having the two sets of columns on each side. So maybe the Botanic Miners, I don't know where I'm going to put them. But without any further ado, let's get to it. So something really, really, really strange is going on right now. Uh, particularly with the Void Resource Miner. Alright, so that one stayed. Uh, what I am trying to do right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is I'm trying to replicate... Here we go. All right, so the tier three is the one that I had the biggest problem with. Come on, give me the glass. There we go. All right, so I have a clear laser lens. We're going to make the tier three. I had 16 void resource miner controller tier threes. And the second I put them in here, all right, so now it's staying. What the heck? That is very, very weird. All right. So these one, so this one stayed. I just uh, crafted it up. I made the 16 tier 3 controllers a very long time ago. And I set them up down in the void ore miner room just to make sure I had all the spacing correct. 
when I upgrade them to tier six. So now that I have this as a pro yeah, now that this is a problem, the void ore miners stay. The resource miner went away. So at the very least, I can make the there we go. Right, you. I don't know why my miners went away. That's very weird to me. Uh, well, I guess that problem has been solved. We're going to uh, place this pattern inside here and the void ore miner can go right in here. And with that, we are ready to craft up all of the stuff we're going to need. Looking at the quest book for environmental tech, here we go. In order to craft tier four, that's solar. We are going to need 56 structure frame tier fours. If I want to make 16 of these, oh man, that is a lot. All right. So I'm going to be using up a lot of resources and everything should be ready to go. Um, with the exception of, let's see here, structure tier fours. Um, 56 times 16 is, what is that? 1,792. So if that is 1,792, let's see how this does. It's probably gonna take a, okay, we're gonna need more iron plates. I do not have the downstairs auto crafting room hooked up, so I can't automatically make iron plates. But if that's the only thing I'm missing, then that is a good day. And I'm gonna use about half of my palladium to do that. So I'm gonna go temporarily hook back up the auto crafting room, just so I can handle these iron plates, and we're gonna get this started. All right, so while Noreen is working on this, I wanna go over something that I discovered and I would need an explanation. My searches are, and don't get, it's just a precursory search. I'm gonna do a little bit more in depth, but the network tool, whenever I right click this glass cable, you'll see that it's showing everything that is connected to my network, including all of the interfaces I have downstairs in the crafting room and all the interfaces that are here in the room I'm in right now. This stored power right here, you see that it just got to 3.19 and then stopped, or 3.19 million RF. So that's the stored power and it is, you know, losing itself. The max power is 3.2 million or mega RF. And I am wondering, I'm using 14.81K generating 14.81. This power problem I'm having, I'm wondering if this network details has something to do with it. And if I am overloading max power whenever I am using my wireless interface terminal outside of this room. So I never lose, I uh, this problem I've been having, I have never lost network power over here or at any of my stations across the base. So whenever I am using this station, it has never lost power on me. So I don't think that's the problem. However, when I'm using my terminal, that's when the problem happens. I'm wondering if the terminal is drawing too much power from the system and I'm exceeding that 3.2 mega RF. And I, yeah, I'm wondering if that is the problem. So I have the wireless booster. Oh, I guess I have the, I have the infinity. So the infinity really can't be the problem, can it? This is just all like speculation, but how is Noreen doing? Yeah, I'm going to be at this for a while. After I have all of this crafted up, I'm going to go assemble all 32 of the miners in the void room, and then we're going to go over what we're doing with all of the stuff that's going to be mining. And if anybody has a an inkling to what the heck I'm talking about in regards to the power draw of my wireless terminal, then uh, yeah, please bring that up in the comments because I'm still trying to figure this out. The problem is not the power is not. Uh, or the problem is not power based at any of the stations because those never lose power. It is only when I am using my wireless interface terminal. Well, this is certainly an odd sight to see. I have every single one of the void miners set up and yeah, quite the laser light show I got going on down here. So we're gonna head back up to the main room. Here we go. And yeah, you see that all of them have been activated, though not all of them are mining anything. They're not powered. So before I power them, one of the things I want to do is I want to hook up where all of the resources are going to be going. Because I have one chest right now, and this chest is linked up to all of the sieves in the disk of the Triskelion. And that is not going to do it, especially when I have 18 void miners going on. Uh, I increased the number that I had by two each because I wanted to make sure that the clear laser lens 
and the crystal laser lens were being handled. And now they are. So I have one lens for each one of the colors, and then the clear and the crystal. I know that the clear doesn't really do anything extra for me, but for the sake of complete com for the sake of completedness, I have it made and I have it installed. All right, and here is the last one. And oh my word, it's already collected quite a bit of resources. This is a brand new ender chest combination. Wow. Um, all right, so we should probably take care of this rather quickly. Um, oh, it's already getting me... All right, I already have two Chironite. What was the last one? Palladium? I have no Palladium, but whoa, we have Ionite, so we have some tier 5 stuff. Awesome. So, yeah, every single one of these is hooked up. Uh, what my plan was originally going to be was just to hoard all of these ores and I was going to do like I did over here where I'm just housing everything that my resource miners are getting me and it's quite a bit of stuff rather quickly. I'm debating whether or not to put some speed modifiers in here just because but yeah I get quite a bit of stuff already just with having just by having 18 of them running so I'm very happy with this overall setup. Um, yeah, like I said, my original plan was just to hoard all of the ores that I'm about to be getting from here and have them piped into this system. And speaking of, is this system even... Alright, so this system is chunk loaded. I don't have to worry about that. Um, Yeah, that is a lot of stuff that I need to pipe in. That would also mean I'd have to restructure how my ore setups are going up in the main disk. Because the way it stands right now... Let's head on back up to the main disk. Uh, the way everything is set up right now, um, down here, here we are. Yeah, all of my overflow that I was getting from my original resource miners is in here. So if I type in like Chironite, yeah, so all 3000 of my Chironite is housed in here. All of my environmental tech stuff was being housed in here because it was overflow from the original miners. So I'm going to have to restructure all of that, all of the stuff that was coming from my ore miner originally. Come on, wow, fly properly. I'm sorry, that probably looked like garbage on camera. Yeah, all of my overflow is going to have to be re-siphoned over to where my void miner room is. That's another problem, but it's it's not, not really a problem at all. All I have to do is just take out all of this stuff. Why didn't I use that portal to get there in the first place? Oh, whatever. The, uh, so yeah, I have a little bit of work to do in the hoarding ores department because I have quite a bit of resources already. I mean, if you look at uh, the amount of redstone I have, I'm still gaining a lot of redstone and I'd have to check one of my earlier clips, but I think I had less redstone at this point, but I'm still just gaining redstone like crazy. So I have 854,000. I don't need that much, so all of the redstone ore I'm getting from these resource miners is kind of useless to me. Yeah, we're going to hoard the ores for now until we have a more permanent setup, and probably along this back wall is where I'm going to have like another ore processing center just for the stuff that's in the ore miners. And there we go. All of the ores have been sorted and they have been put into their individual black hole tanks. Uh, it took it a little longer than I expected it to because I did not have the plastic for all of these black hole labels or the black hole units. So I had to go and make some more plastic, hook up my latex system again. And uh, yeah, so that was a thing. But it is done for now. And with that, I am out of time for this episode. Uh, like I said, uh, these episodes are going to be shorter for at least five weeks, and I'm still going to try to put one out every day. Um, and because I, I, I was thinking while I was setting all this up, because I like viewer interaction so much, if you want me to cover a specific thing in this pack, um, or like go, to do a little bit more of a deep dive, or if I haven't covered it or I haven't visited it in a long time, uh, mention it and I'll cover it and have like a little, hey, this is what the viewer wanted me to do segment or episode. And uh, I think that'd just be a really fun thing to do because coming up with episodes or coming up with ideas at this point is getting a little difficult. Like, I don't know whether or not you guys want me to go into Astral Sorcery. Uh, whenever I do in-depth looks into mods like my Batania episodes were abysmal I 
have to assume at this point is because of my unfamiliarity and my just, uh, for lack of a better term, dicking around whenever I was going through it. But uh, if you want me to do certain episodes on certain things like blood magic or astral sorcery, and I'll get to draconic soon enough. But yeah, just put it in the comments and I will do a, hey, viewer chosen episode topic. So with that, I am Kelly Engineering, and I hope that you did enjoy this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.